Hello everyone and welcome back to week two of the Battle Spotter Die series here on my channel. Um, we had some technical difficulties with the team that I was trying to use, so we have adjusted them. So a couple of the sets aren't going to be perfectly consistent with the team builder, but the Pokemon are all um, the same Pokemon. So as you can see, I reset my rating. We are at 0 and 0, 1500. Um, I actually didn't, like, so I was looking online. I was like, what's an easy way to reset your rating? And nobody seems to know. Um, but one way to do it is to put your game into a different 3DS, go online and click rating battles, and it'll say you've generated a new 3DS, would you like to reset your rate, or is it okay if you reset your rating? Click yes, bring it back to the original 3DS, or just play on the new one, and bam, rating reset. So that's how I did that. Uh, we've got Tapu Lele, Cloyster, Mimikyu, Gengar, Celesteela, and Porygon 2, and I'm looking at this team, and he's probably like, what the hell is this Metapod gonna do? What in the world is this Metapod gonna do? And, uh... Let's take a look at that Metapod right now. I don't think it's coming. It's Focus Sash, obviously. Um, Bug Bites, Electro Web, which I think slows down. The, I don't even know what this does. Uh, yeah, lowers their speed stat. Um, so we can eat a berry. We can lower speed. Um, so that's an interesting Pokemon to have with us. Um, but I think that Gothitelle looks really, really good here. Uh, does a lot of work to a lot of his team. Doesn't handle the Mimikyu well. Um, so definitely want to, to not have it in against the Mimikyu. Um, and then Mega Blastoise looks like it handles most of his team pretty well. And Arcanine maybe does a good job, but uh, Weezing does a decent job too. But let's lead Arcanine, bring Gothitelle, and bring Mega Blastoise in this first battle. And that's so much better to say than Wartortle and Masquerain and Swellow. I mean, that's just, they did it. Last week, they did it. <laughs> But, <laughs> I'm a little bit more like, okay, let's bring Arcanine, Blastoise, and Gothitelle as like a team as opposed to the ones I was using last week. But hey, winning a battle is winning a battle. So the Lele comes out, actually would have loved to have Gothitelle leading here. Um, so we do have Arcanine, it's supposed to be justified, but this one is Intimidate. Um, and he's, he's slower than the top of Lele, so that's worth noting. Um, now I think, uh, I don't remember seeing on his team anything that wanted to switch in to a Fiery MZ, except for the Mimikyu, obviously. Um, and I think I can take any one hit this thing wants to go for. So if I just go Z Power, Flare Blitz, uh, Inferno Overdrive, um, he could go for the Psychic. I think I could take one Psychic, even Psychic Terrain from a Lele. Yeah, so I can take one, uh, and we're just gonna get off a huge Inferno Overdrive first move of the video. I'm excited guys. This thing is, this week looks like it's got more of a chance to be productive, we'll say, than last week. Um, <laughs> huge Z-move attack here. And uh, that's gonna take out the Lele. Yeah. Tapu Lele is easily my favorite Tapu, but I think it's easily the best Tapu competitively, but it's not gonna take a Fire EMZ, Max Attack, Adamant, Flare Blitz attack from an Arcanine. It's just not. So now he knows I'm physical, potentially, so he's like, okay, I'm gonna go into Cloyster. He actually has no confirmation that I'm physical or special. Um, Blastoise can come in on this thing for pretty much free, um, but I can click Close Combat here and do a ton of damage to this thing before he Shell Smashes. If he uh, is whiter or if he's Focus Sash, we can find that out. Um, so he's Shell Smashing, that's fine. Um, like I said, Blastoise doesn't it can take a Rock Blast or plus two from a Cloyster. Uh, if he's not, if he's not White Herb, we'll bring him down to his Sash. Um, and so he's not White Herb, so you definitely bring him down to his Sash. And that's fine, because we have Extreme Speed. So this Arcanine is going to pick up two kills here in the first battle. And we'll see what the last Pokemon is. So Arcanine gets to click Extreme Speed now. And you don't get to kill Arcanine. Done and done. This is not a... Oh, shoot, I forgot about... Oh, wow. Forgot about Psychic Terrain, because I haven't played competitive in long enough. That's okay. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. Arcanine was going to go down anyway. I forgot about Psychic Terrain. Um, not very effective. Hit two times. That's fine. Arcanine fainted. So I think Mega Blastoise can come in here and pick up the kill without any trouble. I don't think a Rock Blast, even at plus two, will take out a Mega Blastoise. Uh, but we're about to find out. We're going to find out together. I'm actually a little bit more nervous now than I was. 
That's okay. Aura Sphere, come out. Um, the, potentially the best play would have been to click Scald in case he switched out into like Mimikyu. Uh, but if he does switch out into Mimikyu, then he loses his Shell Smash, and then I'm okay. So I don't think a Rock Blast KOs. He can still miss a Rock Blast too. That'd be great. Could miss. He doesn't miss. Don't think this kills. Okay, yeah, we're good. So we'll take this thing out with an Aura Sphere and see what his last Pokemon's going to be. And we still have Got the Tail in the back. So uh, Down's going to go to the Cloister because I cannot miss an Aura Sphere. I don't care how much evasive shenanigans you have, even though you know you're a focused Sash set. Um, and so Blastoise. War Turtle probably would have survived that too. Eviolite like War Turtle put in work. I don't care what anyone says. I, War Turtle was awesome, and now he has evolved to Blastoise and Mega evolved from there. Uh, and Gotha, Gotha Rita has evolved into Gotha Tell, and we've got Octillery evolved from the Remoraid, so we've got some, some fun Pokemon uh, this week. And I'm actually really excited for these battles, I think they're going to be good. So, we have a chance here, he does have the Mimikyu as his last Pokemon, now I could just go for a, Scal a Dark Pulse, um, which is obviously stronger than Scald, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to click Scald because I could get the burn. And this thing may still be able to take out Gothitelle if I don't get the burn. Um, but if it doesn't manage to Oko a Gothitelle, if it Swords Dances here, I'm really scared. Admittedly, I think that's the worst thing it could do. If it goes for, I don't know, a Shadow Claw and takes me out, then Gothitelle may survive one, but then he's still got his disguise up. So all sorts of questions going on here. Uh, and I don't know what his, what his item is. A lot of them have been running Z that I've seen. That's not ideal to see. So we don't want to see a Z. Crystal, Mimikyu. And we don't want this thing to Swords Dance. And we don't want this thing to kill me. What is he going to do? Go should play rough. Does that take me out? It does take me out. So Blastoise is going to go down here. And the weirdness is going to disappear. And I think that's going to be the game. We do have Gothitelle coming out, but I don't think it can take two hits from this Mimikyu. And Shadow Ball is, I think, the right play here. Pretty sure. Obviously, either the Rock Blast or the Play Rough could have missed, and everything could have been different, because that's how Pokemon goes. But they didn't miss. That's expected and normal and the way it should be. He is a Z-Crystal, and it's going to be... Uh, Ghost DMZ, and that should take out my Gothitelle. And even if it doesn't, he's still got his disguise. So, even if it's the Shadow Sneak, it should still be enough. So, we're going to lose our first battle, but that's okay. I kind of wish I had brought Metapod. I think that would have been fun. Alright, so Mimikyu is a problem, so don't bring Gothitelle if I see a Mimikyu, because everyone brings Mimikyu against me. I don't know what it is. It's just a good Pokemon. Alright, so 0 and 1. We got two more battles today and five more battles in all, and we just gotta win two of them to do better than last time. So that's what we're looking to do. I would have liked to win that battle, and if, if he didn't have the top of Lele except the Psychic Terrain, or if I had been smart and switched Arcanine out, uh, been able to get that Intimidate back on the Shell Smash. Well, not on the Shell Smash, because he was still the Focus Ash. Um, well, even if he didn't, then I could have just Aura Sphere with Blastoise and then had Arcanine for the Mimikyu. It would have been great. Um, that's okay. Things, food for thought. Future is the future. So, um, other things to, to think about with this team is that the Weezing does not have Flamethrower like it was supposed to. Uh, instead it's running Toxic Spikes, Destiny Bond, Pain Split, and Sludge Bomb. Uh, so I think that's a, that's a good set for it. Anyway, I'm okay with it not having the Flamethrower. And the uh, Gotha Tell, as you can see, did not have Trick, and it's running Assault Vest instead of a Choice Scarf. So, uh, those, are the, those are the changes that had to be made because the team wasn't allowed. Uh, there's a couple Pokemon that weren't eligible for some reason. I don't actually know what the problem was, but we made the changes. We figured it all out. Um, so Arcanine is Intimidate instead of Justified. Gothitel has, uh, I believe, Shadow Ball instead of, or Energy Ball instead of Trick. And uh, Weezing has a different moveset. But otherwise, same nature, you know, um, stuff like that. So... There is nobody. There's nobody online. Where's all the people? All right, there you are, Seth. Oh, the 1315 rating. So we might be get, 
get another win here. Like I said, find that person at 1300s and, and beat... Oh, that's a scary team for 1300s. Holy cow. Aerodactyl, Volcarona, Breloom, Starmie, Jolteon, and Weavile. That's actually a really intimidating team for a 1300 rating. I was hoping it would be like my team from last time. This is not the battle I think I want to bring the Metapod to, although I totally could. Metapod actually looks surprisingly good. It super affects five of his Pokemon. <laughs> Four of his Pokemon. Um... Uh, actually, it may not super affect Breloom, but it super affects four of his Pokemon. And in the Weavile with Bug Bite, Starmie with Bug Bite, and the Electroweb on Aerodactyl, and then maybe... No, it's not, it doesn't super affect... It's just a super affect three. But that's half of his team, and I don't think we need a better chance than that to use Metapod. So I think this is going to be the battle, guys. I think Metapod's going to come. I think Mega Blastoise might come. Uh, it handles everything except the Breloom. So now we're looking at nothing to handle the Breloom, so I kind of want to bring Weezing. So I think Metapod, Blastoise, and Weezing are going to be three. And we'll lead with the Metapod. Going to lead with the Metapod! Here we go. I have no idea how this is going to go. But if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right here, right now. All right, so here we go, Seth. Pokemon trainer Seth, ready to battle. Go Metapod! All right. Nice shiny red Metapod. He leads the Jolteon. That's not what I wanted to see. Did not want to see the Jolteon. Um, we did not bring the Assault Vested Gothitelle. We do have the Weezing, although that's not going to want to take it from a Jolteon. Um... So I'm actually just going to click String Shot? I'm going to click String Shot. So he goes for the T-Bolt. And we take that. And we get a String Shot off. So that's going to put him at minus two. Because they up String Shot, so it's actually minus two now. Which is crazy. He's probably still going to outspeed me, but I'm going to click Bug Bite. Just in case I can get some damage off. He does still outspeed me. That's fine. Metapod's going to go down, but anything else is going to come in and be able to outspeed the Jolteon, um, and anything equals Weezing. So, I think Weezing should be able to come in and outspeed the Jolteon, and we should be able to get a big... Uh, I'm going to... I think what I'll do is set up Toxic Spikes, and then click Destiny Bond on the Jolteon. Um, toxic Spikes will help against anything else in his team. So, I think I outspeed it. Uh, he's just going to withdraw, so that's fine. I'll actually just get the Toxic Spikes up for free. He could have Rapid Spin on the Starmie. Definitely could. Um, but I don't necessarily see that. So, in this battle, it looks like one layer of Toxic Spikes is probably going to be better than two. So we're just going to leave it at one and go out into Blastoise. And Metapod put in work. It scared out a Jolteon. I don't know about that. I don't know if that counts as putting in work. But... Goes for the Scald. Hits the Blastoise with it. So that's going to do nothing. Gets the burn, because of course he does. That's okay. We can still click Dark Pulse. I don't think there's anything on his team. Uh, the Breloom doesn't mind a Dark Pulse, but nothing else on his team wants to take it. Weavile could could easily take it too. Actually, now that I look at it. Um, I don't see him going out to we Weavile on a Blast Voice, though. Because I could easily have Aura Sphere, and I do. So he does stay in with the Starmie, so that's fine. So if he goes out, I mean, he could have gone out to Breloom there pretty safely, but it's pretty frail, and I could just go out to Weaving at that point. Uh, he does have the Rapid Spin. Wow! So he brings Rapid Spin Starmie to, to Battle Spot. But we get a big Dark Pulse off here for Mega Blastoise, and that just one-shots the Starmie. That Starmie's gone. So get that thing out of here, and we bring it down to 2-2. He does have the Jolteon, which is obviously a huge threat, and if he brings it in, I can't switch out, which is a huge problem. And he does bring it in, and it doesn't get poisoned, and so I think my strongest attack is Dark Pulse or Aura Sphere? Uh, actually, I think it's Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse is base 85. These are both base 80. And they get the Mega Launcher, which is higher than Stab. Is it higher than Stab? Maybe not. We're going to go with the Scald. Because that can get us the burn and everything. Uh, so he gets the T-Bolt. Do we live a T-Bolt? Is he Specs? He might be Specs. Might be Specs. Man, if I had Gothitelle instead of Metapod. But... 
Had to bring it. We got it. We rolled it. We brought it. That's what's up. So we can click Sludge Bomb here, although I think two Thunderbolts is going to take me out, so I don't think he's going to have to worry too much about it. Uh, Pain Split would have been an interesting option, but I don't think we would have survived anyway, so... Oh, he's got some bulk too. Jesus. Alright. Or Weezing just doesn't have any special events. Special, special attack investment, which it doesn't. Uh, but anyway, that's okay. Could have brought Gothitelle instead of the Metapod. We learned a lesson, but we brought the Metapod, ladies and gentlemen. That, at the end of the day, is more important. I play for the memes, not for the wins. Well, I play for the wins in, in the league, admittedly. Um, I play for the, I don't know, first week of the league I brought a Eject Button Tailwind Healing Wish Latias. So, nobody can tell me that I don't do some fun stuff in that league. Um, and keep your eyes peeled, guys, because I've got some plans for the next couple weeks that are going to be really interesting. A um, little spoiler about my uh, my week three team is that they're not it's not so crazy. Uh, there's some there's some fun stuff there, but it's not so crazy. But week four and five are going to be really fun. All right, I don't have them totally planned out, but I have like ideas about what I want to do. Charizard, Gengar, Dragonite, Rotom, Wash. La, 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 loister. And Mandibuzz. So, once again, Gothitelle actually looks really, really good. Um, it doesn't handle the Cloister well. Blastoise handled the Cloister alright last time. Uh, Arcanine handled it last time as well. Uh, Arcanine does not want to deal with a Rotom Wash so much. Uh, but otherwise, it can fire off a big Fire EMZ and hit something hard. So, I don't want to lead with it. Rotom Wash could easily lead. Um, and I think if that's the case, Gothitelle is my best lead. Um, Octillery is an interesting one, and Mega Blastoise is an interesting one. So I think Octillery handles most of his team better, and Arcanine does well against uh, the stuff that Octillery does not. So, well, Rotom Wash is just a problem. Rotom Wash is just a problem. It's been a problem since it existed in Gen 4, and then in Gen 5, and then in Gen 6, and now it's a problem in Gen 7. All right, Pokemon Trainer Cloud, Japanese, 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 TM symbol. I can't read your name. Oh, ZZ, not TM. Sleep. He's asleep. All right, so Dragonite's out here right now. And I do want to break multi-scale, so let's just click Psychic. If I brought Mega Blastoise or Weezing, I would have switched into those even with the multi-scale, but I didn't, so we're going to just stay in. He could, I don't even know, Outrage. Uh, that's why I didn't want to switch to Octillery, just for the straight Outrage play. I don't think that'll kill Gothitelle, um, but he could also just go straight for a Z-move. Wow. Uh, okay, first turn Z-moves. We've done those before. Full four Z-move, Z, Supersonic Sky Strike. Okay. So he's got Z fly probably. How much is gonna do? We survive that. Get a big psychic off here. And get the special defense drop. So he doesn't have any leftovers or anything. Uh, we could just go out into Arcanine and get the Intimidate drop. Um, which seems like a good thing to do. Arcanine can come in. A little shiny Arcanine, intimidate it. Get the attack drop, and he's just gonna go for extreme speed, which I kind of figured was gonna be the case. And we can take that just fine. So, um, he has no go. Oh, he does have Gengar. Uh, I don't know if a Fire Emz would even kill this thing, and I kind of want to preserve Arcanine. So I'm gonna switch out into Octillery. So I'm going to reveal my entire team. He switches out his Dragonite. Goes out into the Rotom. Okay. So I could have gone for like a Wild Charge or a Close Combat. I thought about going for a Wild Charge there. That would have been nice. Some nice damage. But we do have Octillery coming out. And we get the Moody straight away. And sharply raise Evasiveness. And lower my Accuracy. So this is going to be a fun battle. 
This one's gonna be interesting. Uh, let's go for the... Let's see, he could switch back out into the Dragonite, predicting the Energy Ball. He could... But I don't want to just click Ice Beam hard, so I'm just gonna click Psychic here. We'll see how much this does. He goes for the Discharge, he lands it, of course. Does he get the Para too? Because why wouldn't you? No, he just kills me. So he lands it, that's okay. I mean, I would have missed my Psychic anyway. So I think if he outspeeds my Gothitelle, then I think we just lose all three battles again today, guys. And that's not ideal. That's not what you want to see. That's okay. I like this team. I like Battle Spot. We're going to click Energy Ball. And we'll see how this goes. So he does outspeed my Gothitelle. And takes me down with a crit. And we go into Arcanine. And now Arcanine has to take on the world by itself. Which will be tough for it, for sure. Very, very tough for Arcanine to do without any sort of recovery, which it doesn't have. It does not have Morning Sun or anything. Uh, let's see. So we can go. We can go with the Wild Charge here. It's the best move overall. And I do outspeed it, but I'm not going to kill it. Yeah, and he's just going to click Hydro Pump. So. Does click Hydro Pump. Does land it because. I'm the only one who misses moves in this game. I miss all my moves. If anyone was at the stream last night, holy cow, I got the most hacks ever against me. There were four different times in which either a Fire Blast, or a Flare Blitz, or a Flamethrower burned me. Four different times. They were in a row, too. Not the same person, but like four different, four consecutive Flamethrower attacks. 10% burns happened. I also missed two Leech Seeds in there, which is 10% each. And... Later got frozen by an Ice Beam, which is another 10%. So lots of 10% yesterday. Hacks were abound. But anyway, uh, with that, guys, I am going to get out of here. I will see you guys on Thursday with the second part. I apologize for the delay on this one. Um, apparently, they do server maintenance on Mondays, and I can't record. So I'll see you guys Thursday. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will try to win a battle. I don't know why this team's having as much trouble as it is. I think I'm just rushing. I should slow down, play smart like I did last time. So I will see you guys in a couple days.